What's up everybody and welcome to Recap TV. So on Monday night I tuned in to the season premiere of Dancing with the Stars and it was actually very entertaining. This season has a great lineup. There are a lot of celebrities that I'm interested in seeing perform and I'm also interested in seeing who will be making it to the end of the season. In this video I'll be giving my thoughts on some of the performances of the night that I really enjoyed and also I'll give my thoughts worst performance of the night. The person that I would say gave the spiciest performance of the night would be Johnny Weir. Johnny is a two-time Olympian figure skater. He is known for his artistic flair and he definitely transferred that energy onto the dance floor. His partner on the show is Britt Stewart and can we just take a moment and acknowledge how beautiful she is. She is the first black female dance pro on Dancing with the Stars and this is her first season as a pro dancer so I am really rooting for Britt and Johnny. I'm also looking forward to seeing what they'll be bringing to the show. The judges gave the pair a score of 18 out of 30 for their cha-cha-cha and I'm not a pro dancer or a judge but just from watching at home their performance was a whole mood. I feel like they should have at least gotten a 21 which was the highest score given of the night. But I feel like they're going to be one of the couples to look out for during the season. Um, the celebrity that actually surprised me the most by how good they did was Jeannie Mai. Jeannie is a co-host on The Real and she's engaged to rapper Jeezy. She did the salsa with her partner Brandon Armstrong and I have to say, you know, I've seen Jeannie do a few dance moves here and there on the, the talk show The Real and I wasn't expecting too much from her on Dancing with the Stars, but Jeannie shocked me on the premiere. She did great. I am so proud of her. She was doing all kind of tricks and she had good rhythm. Jeannie was glowing and giving positive vibes to the screen. The team score for the night was 18, which I felt should have been higher, but this was Jeannie's first performance, so I know her scores will just get better and better. Now, the celebrity that did great, and I already had a feeling they would do great, um, was Sky Jackson. Sky, she plays Zuri Ross in the Disney Channel show Jesse from 2011 to 2015, and she was also on Bonk from 2015 to 2018. And really, anytime a Disney celebrity comes onto the show, they do really well. Like Zendaya uh, did really well on her season, and Cal Massey, he did really well on his season. Guys, she ended up getting one of the highest scores of the night for her tango with her partner, Alan Burstyn, and it was well deserved. Uh, it was pointed out that Sky is the youngest contestant on the show, um, but judging from her performance on Monday night, she did not come to play. She definitely has the potential to win the Mirabal Trophy, and actually, I'm going to predict that she will win the Mirabal Trophy. Now, the celebrity that I waited one hour and 50 minutes to see, but it was well worth it, was Nelly. His performance with his partner, they had so much chemistry, and I just want to take a moment to acknowledge how beautiful Nelly's smile is. His teeth dang near stole the show. <laughs> now, as far as Nelly's dancing goes, he, he looked like he got a little work to do, you know, even though I really prefer enjoy his performance sometimes it seemed as if like he was just out dancing on the dance floor at the club or something like that but i'm here for nelly being on the show he's one of the reasons why i'm actually tuning in um to the show and i'm just excited to see how far he's gonna get now the celebrity that i waited two hours to see um was big cat rights activist and ceo of big cat rescue carol basket her whole theme of the night was you know just surrounded around big cats uh, she even did the passe double to the song eye of the tiger and i literally laughed her whole performance and i'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing even though her performance on the show was a bit odd it still was like really entertaining to me um, after carol's performance the host tyra Bakes asked her if she tapped into her inner tiger and carol gave out really weird energy she just she didn't even acknowledge what tyra said did you tell 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 did you tell
or win the Mirrorball Trophy or anything like that. But I am definitely going to be tuning in to watch Carol Shenanigans for as long as she's going to be on the show. Finally, the celebrity performance that I felt like was the worst was Charles Oakley. He did the salsa to 50 cents in the club. Charles seemed to be having a hard time catching the B or something, but he had a really good attitude and seemed really laid back. He scored a 12 out of 30, which wasn't the lowest score of the night, but it was only one point away from the lowest score, which was an 11, which belonged to Carol. Carol Baskin. I'm thinking if Charles puts a little bit more practice in and maybe has better music, we'll see improvement from him. Uh, Tyra Banks as a host was different. She's actually the replacement for the original host, Tom Bergeron, um, who was the host for 28 seasons so Tyra has big shoes to fill replacing Tom as a host on Dancing with the Stars is like trying to replace Nick Cannon as a host on Wild and Out or Aisha Tyler as the host on Whose Line Is It Anyway it's just something that's going to be extremely difficult to do um, but overall the season premiere kept my attention so I will be tuning up tuning in throughout the season what did you guys think about the premiere of Dancing with the Stars? Was it something that you felt like was a snooze fest? Or did you really enjoy this, the season premiere and you felt like some of the celebrities did well? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye!